Sickle cell anemia affects millions throughout the world, but what is sickle cell anemia? We spoke with Dr. Gita Putinvidal at Children's Hospital of Orange County, who explains this disorder and talks about one of the most common myths. Sickle cell anemia is a genetic disorder where you have a genetic problem in the way the body makes hemoglobin. It makes a different type of hemoglobin that makes the cells, the red cells in your body, take on a different shape when it has less oxygen, which happens in certain parts of the body, in your extremities, in the lungs sometimes, sometimes in the brain. And when it does cause that sickling, the cells actually block the blood vessels. And there's decreased blood that flows to the area. And that is what causes crises in sickle cell disease, which can be pain crises in the extremities, it can be an acute chest crisis in the lungs, or it can actually be with stroke in the brain. The diagnosis can be made by a simple blood test, by hemoglobin electrophoresis, where the, the test actually separates out the different types of proteins inside your red blood cell and identifies the sickle protein. Is it a myth that sickle cell disease is more prevalent in the African American population? That is probably the most common myth that it is most commonly seen in the African American uh, population. However, there is also a significant um, population in the Hispanic American population and the Latino population that has sickle cell disease as well. There are individuals in the Mediterranean countries um, who can have sickle cell disease, not necessarily just African Americans or not necessarily those of African descent. There are South American populations that can have sickle cell disease, people from India from the Middle East who can have sickle cell. So I think it's a very important um, piece of information for people to have so that they can appropriately follow up when you have a test that turns positive. Because sickle cell disease is diagnosed by newborn screening and when these results come back on newborn screening, it's important for the pediatricians to be aware and hence set up these families for appropriate follow-up um, for genetic counseling and for appropriate therapy. So the most common um, ways would be to actually treat your um, crises when they occur. But there are many preventative mechanisms or um, me methods that you can put up as soon as you have the diagnosis because the most common reason why newborn screening was implemented was because babies were dying from infection because of sickle cell disease in the first year of life. So once we got the newborn screening results back, these babies are put on penicillin as soon as we have the results within the first two months of life. I think it's a very important um, disorder to be aware of because um, individuals can die from sickle cell disease. There are various crises that you can die from. Um, acute chest syndrome, if not appropriately treated, um, can be fatal. A stroke, if not appropriately treated, can be fatal. And then you have the chronic morbidity that occurs from sickle cell disease, from long-term damage to the, to the kidneys, where adults can go into renal failure, go into dialysis and die from that. Or they can go into chronic lung disorders, like pulmonary hypertension, which becomes a, it's a huge problem in the adult population with sickle cell. And that, in turn, leads on to right heart disorders and right heart failure. The higher your fetal hemoglobin concentration, the less severe your presentation. Because fetal hemoglobin, the presence of fetal hemoglobin inside your cell decreases the amount of sickling that occurs, which is key to all the morbidity that occurs. We always bring in the entire family to that first visit. We have almost like a family conference. We teach them, we educate them on what to watch for, you know, that things are going to be okay, that it's not where 15, 20 years ago where your mortality rate was high, things are so much better now. Um, people are living on into adult life. Their survival is much, much better now. So that's the first thing we tell our families, that because the shock to them is, is, is huge, that well, how? And so we say, it's okay, your child's going to be fine. This is what you need to do. And we walk them through this, these steps at every single visit. And we, we have support groups. We've had um, a, lot of, a lot of success with that support group. So I think, like you said, we. we we treat the entire family, we take care of the entire family. Because sickle cell is a genetic disorder and runs in families, early diagnosis is critical so children who have the disease can receive the proper treatment. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.